the news. Police talked a woman off a ledge recently, the kind of thing that probably would not make headlines, except Arvada police say they used facial recognition to identify that woman and make a connection with her. Got our Marshall Zellinger wondering just when law enforcement is using facial recognition in unexpected ways. This is body camera footage posted online by Arvada police as they pull a woman off the edge of a parking structure bridge. This parking structure bridge with a steep drop to the driveway below. What you don't see in our video is the negotiations that went on behind the scenes, you know, the trying to get this person off the bridge, the presence of a co-responder. And we did not see the technology used by police to help figure out who the woman was. Facial recognition technology we asked Arvada Police Detective David Snelling about. To me, it's maybe a simple way of explaining it, but it's like a facial fingerprint. To even use facial recognition, it required a face to recognize. So an Arvada Police officer snapped a photo to be able to search. And through the system that we do facial recognition with, they were able to upload and we're able to discover who she was with a very high percentage. Their system is through a company called Rock, Rank One Computing. Though Snelling told me the actual search does not look like this CSI example. The pictures Arvada police have to search against are limited. The known photographs that we use are actually booking photographs from around the state. DMV photos? No DMV photos. Uh, any of those cameras that nobody knows what they no, are? No, not, not, not scraping any of those cameras. We're not looking at social media. When a photo gets uploaded, like mine, the software searches booking photos and can come up with several options with a percentage level of certainty. We have to have some human intervention, some meaningful human review. And it's just like pulling a fingerprint from a scene. If we don't get enough points on that fingerprint or we don't get enough facial structures, then the algorithm for facial recognition isn't going to work. The woman on the bridge had a booking photo, which gave officers and the co-responder on scene a name to say to try to keep her from going over. Once they started to call her by her name, um, it actually kind of calmed the situation somewhat. She was taken to the hospital. I could not show you a real example of searching because it's almost like police searching a license plate. You need a specific purpose because it creates a record. A state law passed two years ago set up guidelines for requirements before this technology is used, including having, quote, some meaningful human review. Meaningful human review. They're looking at, at mug shots, okay? Could they go through DMV photos? I... I I don't think as part of this process, like the, the search, the automatic AI yeah. search could not do that. Through investigative work, they could probably do what they normally would sure. do. Start, that's the but not through, not through this review. automated not system. Not through the automated system. How about scraping social media? But as a detective, you could start doing that on your own. Yep. Not, not through the automated system. Listen, I'm glad they helped that woman, but that is, that is creepy as, as something. All right, Marshall, thank you.